Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick review of the stock market, what's been going on with the S&P 500. Um, you can see here that um, we've kind of been in an uptrend that's uh, kind of tightening in its uh, uptrendness. So um, sometimes what happens in these uptrends is that once they break um, this range, which could happen anytime between now and uh, the 8th of November, um, they could kind of go up even more um, just because it's already on an uptrend and then it breaks that uptrend in a reasonable way. If you look at the MACD here, it also supports uh, some kind of convergence uh, and then some big changes um, all around the 3rd to the 7th. Now, um, it could be pretty stable until that point uh, and then go down or it could go up. It's more likely that it's going to go up. Um, sometime uh, in the next few days. Um, so the interesting thing is on the money flow, um, we see a similar characteristic, pretty solid um, lower line here um, on the lows, um, and then kind of a more complicated perspective on the highs. So we kind of have something here that shows an upward trend um, making higher highs, um, and then a more recent downtrend um, with a break uh, being around positive on uh, the fourth. One interesting way to interpret this is on the force index. You can see that the force has been pretty solid on the downward side, um, so that's pretty consistently um, negative, but actually getting slightly better um, in recent uh, weeks. So you can see here on the start of October, um, looking pretty good on the force index. So. Um, but that actually breaks on a negative level here, um, which is a little bit of concern on the 7th. Um, so you can see that um, if these highs are correct, um, maybe I should include this high here, but um, I might have to pull it up a little bit, and then you can see that would break in a positive way. Um, but this still shows some negativity here, um, still showing maybe a negative or a break zero, um, and then flat um, right around in here. So. Um, we could get a, kind of a more of a flat level uh, for some time. So it's interesting um, also here that on the volatility side of things, average to range also breaks around uh, the fourth, um, meaning less volatility. So we're s likely to see some kind of stabilization in this range in here. Um, it's at least according to what we're seeing here. So it could be right in here, um, just slightly above. So if I zoom out a little bit, you can kind of see more on the average to range. Um, most of that average to range was actually specified um, on the last part of the downward trend here. And then it kind of lifted up a little bit um, during this positive phase here. So you can see this threshold here and then this threshold here, but then the positive phase changed all that. So it kind of had this um, weird turnaround uh, around the 12th of October. Um, so on the commodity channel price index, you can case, basically see that in recent weeks, all the way back to the um, start of October, we have a pretty solid up high high trends here and kind of a varying lower trends here. So that shows that um, we're going to probably break on the positive side um, sometime out in this range. So um, I'm a little skeptical still, um, to be honest about all this, um, but... Um, the data seems to show that we're breaking on a positive side. Now you can see on the RSI um, that the price action is pretty positive um, as well. Um, just this recent couple days, not looking so good today. So you can see right at the 50% mark, we're kind of right above that 50%. So still in the positive territory, um, but RSI is still not looking super great, um, at least in the last couple days. So. Um, the money flowing into the market also looks pretty solid um, in terms of these waves of uptrends. So it looks like we get these like slow kind of gradual pieces here and then a sudden up. So that's maybe possible. It looks like we're kind of at a slightly different range here, um, looking at maybe slightly pos more positive than usual um, in terms of money flow. So you can see on this chart um, that the volume oscillator is kind of went up here and then it's going down recently. So 
since the middle of October. So that to me is a bad sign um, just in general, seeing less volume in the market. Um, you want to see higher volume, um, more trading, and things that show price action that are positive. But meanwhile, even though total volume is kind of decreasing, the positive volume is increasing. So you see here, um, you're kind of at a low uh, back at the end of September. Um, then we kind of went up into more positive territory, but now we're starting losing some steam. So one of the disturbing things here is that we still see a pretty low trend here on the on bonds volume. So if you just sum up the volume, you kind of get a negative uh result here um, the price volume trend looks a little bit better you can kind of see an uptrend here um, it doesn't look like we've matched uh, some of the levels yet um, that we need to get um, but we are maybe about halfway here and we're about halfway there which is a good sign so and we made it up to this level already doesn't really show that um, very clearly on the uh, price volume trend but we're probably in that range so we actually haven't had the volume yet upon this move. So that's kind of a little scary. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, it looks like we are still in an uptrend here. Um, heading up, we kind of have a little bit of a fade today um, on that side. We got a down 70.72%. Um, so and after hours we're looking up so that looks good so um, but um, it's likely that uh, this trend might continue a little bit it looks like we're softening up a little bit we can see some red candles in here um, but uh, if you have any questions be sure to like and subscribe and send me a text message or let me know thank you